Hello ladies and gentlemen, Sigvalo Grim here and welcome to another video. We talked previously a few times about the Black Manta Plus Brainiac strategy and how uh, great it does in some places. So far we've seen it used uh, mainly in soul raids and against uh, Captain Cold. And uh, over there it does a ton of damage against Captain Cold, uh, it did one of the highest damages we've seen so far. And now we're officially uh, witnessing a new best team for, for fighting Dr. Fate in terms of raw damage. And we're going to take a look at it and we're going to take a look at two people that do it uh, a little bit different. Uh, but the base strategy is the same and we'll discuss the differences a bit uh, uh, further in the video. But yeah, a huge shout out to Redblade and uh, We Nightmares. Uh, check them out in the description and the pinned comment. Amazing YouTubers and they stopped posting for a while and they came back and they came back and forth with some quality videos. So do check them out because YouTube really doesn't like it when you stop posting for a while. So please do show them some support. But yeah, with a lot of the flow, please also do subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed this video. And uh, let's get into it. Okay, so this first one is from Redblade. Again, check his channel, link in the description and the pinned comment. And we're going to fight Dr. Fate there. Keep in mind, keep in mind, look, look. This can't be tier 7 Dr. Fate because as you might be aware, you have played a couple of uh, tier 7 so uh, raids, league raids. Tier 7 Dr. Fate is going to be going really crazy on you with uh, his uh, special attacks and stuff, so... Uh, this can't really be tier 7 Dr. Fate. This strategy is usable only in uh, tier 6 and below, though over there it will be a very easy one shot in tier 8. If it's tier 7 Dr. Fate, you're not gonna have a good time. So as usual, he'll be tagging in. Special one with Brainiac, uh, letting Dr. Fate do a few basic attacks so that uh, he can, uh, after that, uh, tag in with Black Manta. Doing the special ones to increase the lethal attack damage that Brainiac is going to then transfer uh, all the way uh, to Manta. And you can, uh, you need to do this uh, 10 times because it stacks up to 10 times. Okay, a little bit rough here. Look, look, listen. It will be a little bit rough just at the start and a little bit risky. And uh, I think with Nightmares even does it a little bit more safely, so it can be done a little bit more safely. Uh, but after that, there's uh, really no uh, risk to this thing overall. So it's gonna be fine, you just have to survive the 10 special uh, ones by uh, Brainiac. Okay, over here getting pretty low still. Special one in there. Black Manta back in there. Re-engage the combo. Brainiac back in for special one. Black Manta back in. Special tree in there just to kind of uh, reset the pace of the battle. Another special one from Brainiac. Black Manta almost dies there, but look, he's alive. He's alive and doing damage, alright? That's all that matters. Another special tree, and unlike on the stance, you don't have to use the special tree, but this is just for the purpose of getting him back in the corner. Because in the corner, you'll have a very good time hitting him, as you'll see. Okay, now he's in the corner. There we go, swipe down and re-engage the combo. Like, look, this strategy with Dr. Fate has been present since uh, the beginning of Ingest 2 Mobile. But previously, only the uh, Justice League team would heavily benefit from this. And they were not dealing much damage here anyway, so nobody really cared. But yeah, Dr. Fate's gonna have a hard time recovering from a swipe down. So, in 99% of the case, with some characters, and Black Manta seems to be one of them, you're going to be easily able to uh, continue the combo after the swipe down. So that's gonna lead uh, to pretty much an infinite combo. Again, I don't think every single character can do this to Dr. Fate, but Black Manta seems to have no problem doing it. And yeah, this is the strategy pretty much, and it deals a huge amount of damage. Uh, anyway, a huge part of it is because of the Beta Club, but yeah, it's not bad man ninja team, it's not all Beta Club over here. Manta is really putting in a huge amount of damage. And there's a total of... It says 64, but it was actually 74 because of some... Uh, Lingering dot damage from the beta club. Yeah, that's a thing for some reason, but yeah Now looking at the weed nightmares peep Brainiac in special one in there Blocking the first few hit black manta back in Ring the combo Brainiac in special one in there again again the channel of weed nightmares will be in the description the pin comments So please do check that out. Okay getting pretty lucky on that tagging over there if that was special one you would have disrupted him a bit a special one in there from Brainiac, 
Yeah, again, you're going to have a little bit of a rough time to start off with, but look, Black Manta is going to be tanky enough, so he doesn't have a problem without you actually building him as a tank. Also, a super move being used here. Not sure I saw that in the previous fight. Re-engage the combo here. Rainy in special one. Pop that block. Black Manta back in. Swipe down. Re-engage the combo. Rainyak back in. Special one. Okay, that was a little bit unlucky, but again, Black Manta can take it. Swipe down, re-engage the combo. As you can see, there's no problem with the swipe downs over here. But again, I, I figure you'd have a little bit of a rougher time doing this in tier 7, because that Dr. Fate ha has something wrong with him, okay? And he keeps this up until uh, uh, Dr. Fate's got super move, so he gets that out of the way. Manta black in, back in. A little bit of a mistake on the tag in there. It was a screen press instead of a swipe down, but that's fine. A swipe up over there to put him uh, a little bit closer to the corner. Black Manta swipe up is one of the very few swipe ups in the game that I actually think it's worth using sometimes. Most of the other ones are crap. Swipe down, re-engage the combo. And there goes the special 2. Like, I've seen we Nightmares use the special 2 of Black Manta quite a few times in, the, in a few scenarios. And he either has no armor pierce on basic attacks on the talents, which I'm unaware of. Though I think he has. But still, the armor pierce on talents is going to grant you armor pierce only on uh, your... Uh, Attacks like tap attacks not on your swipe right attacks So the uh, enemy's armor will still reduce the damage that you do on your swipe attacks So uh, I've seen him do this against scarecrow and now against Dr. Fate So either he has though. I think he has either having or not having uh, If you don't have it, it's definitely worth it, but even if you have uh, it might be worth considering doing a special two in there to keep that burning effect up because uh, yeah you're also gonna benefit from uh, armor pierce on swipe rights attack because the talents don't help out with that also the damage is not it's not that bad on the special too though yeah basic attacks are far more but yeah with all that out of the way this is the highest damage ever recorded as far as i'm aware against dr fate maybe harbrick harlequin did something similar but yeah so yeah, this was everything for this one. Uh, so hope you enjoyed it. Hope you found this uh, interesting. And I'll keep you out of it how this strategy develops. Because I'm very interested in this uh, specific strategy. Can't wait to get my Black Manta doing that. But unfortunately, he's currently just 3 stars. So he wouldn't have a good time. But yeah, with that out of the way. Huge thanks to the people who, uh, whose footage I used over here. Again, links in the description. Links in the comment. Go check them out and show some support. And other than that, please also do subscribe to the channel, please hit that like button, and I'll see you all in the next one. I'm really looking forward to also to see how the uh, Raven new character and maybe Raven Soris thing is going to develop, and we'll together go with that. But yeah, that was it for this one. Again, check the guys in the description and the pinned comment, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye!